we had also for a very healthy and positive discussion on the new anti-dumping methodology. As you are aware, an agreement um, on the negotiating mandate with the European Parliament has been reached with the support of all member states. And at today's Council, we discussed the way forward, namely to meet the Council conclusions on, on the matter. And we are now in a position to initiate negotiations with the European Parliament, which we encourage to come forward with its position in time with the EU, ideally bringing the new, new legislation into force in this summer. Therefore, the new anti-dumping methodology is a clear and um, unequivocal um, answer to our citizens' concerns. Europe has listened to our citizens concerned. It's acting accordingly um, to protect our families, to protect our businesses from unfair trade and competition in a sustainable manner. We also, as the Minister said, took stock of where we are in the trade negotiations. We have a very ambitious trade agenda and uh, it is uh, good to see that we have such a strong support in the Council of working together to build bridges, to take opportunities of trade, uh, trade um, take advantage of the trade opportunities to create uh, jobs and growth here in Europe. We are making very good uh, progress in our work to update the old trade agreement that we have with Mexico uh, in order to make sure that it is as modern as possible. We agreed to do our utmost to finalize this before the end of the year. I think that is possible and we are working in that direction. Together with Mexico, our two other priorities this year is Japan. And we are uh, seeing the end of these negotiations also uh, will be done this year. And the third is with Mercosur, that, uh, where, where we have uh, intense discussions with the four Mercosur countries. And also there we think we can uh, achieve a, at least a political agreement by the end of this year. All this shows that Europe is, um, we are doing trade in a way that is transparent, that is value-based, uh, and we also had a long discussion today on how we can work together to make sure that our trade agreements are not only good on paper, because of course very often they are, but that they work in practice.